everyone, this is Miss Brandon from the Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. Today on Teen Cuisine, we're gonna talk about engineering the perfect jar salad so you can save money, save time, and save calories with Make Ahead Grab and Go Jar Salads. And one of the best parts about jar salads, you don't need a recipe. All you need is a formula and a few basic rules. The first rule of building a perfect jar salad is that the lettuce should never come in contact with wet ingredients like salad dressing or salsa. Because of that, dressing always goes on the bottom and lettuce or other greens always go on the top. The second rule is that the jar should be fully packed. A half empty jar would allow ingredients to shift around and potentially break rule number one. Same with letting the jar tip over, don't. The third rule is that while a tightly sealed jar keeps lettuce, greens, and most veggies fresh for up to five days, some ingredients won't. Avocados, apples, and foods that oxidize will probably only keep for a day or so. And for safety, salads with meat should probably be eaten within two or three days. Salads with delicate ingredients like strawberries or moisture absorbent ingredients like croutons or tortilla strips should be eaten within a day or so as well. Those are the rules, now on to the formula. For a quart-sized canning jar, it is recommended that you use one to three tablespoons of salad dressing, a half a cup of protein, like chicken or hard-boiled eggs or beans, one half to one cup of veggies, fruits, or grains, like farro, quinoa, rice, pasta a quarter cup of toppings like cheese or seeds or nuts. And finally, one to two cups or let of lettuce or greens, enough to fill the jar. Items should be added in that order, but you can make a few adjustments. If you are using onions, for example, you might wanna put them in the dressing to allow its acidity to mellow them. If you are using bocconcini, you might wanna layer them in the dressing to allow them to marinate a bit. This formula should be altered to your taste, but it makes a good starting point until you come into your full jar architect. Here are some combinations I've created using this formula. For sesame chicken, I use sesame ginger dressing, chicken, cucumbers, carrots, avocado, almonds, and lettuce. Another combination I've built using this formula is my bean burrito jar salad. I use one to three tablespoons of ranch and salsa, black beans, green onions, red peppers, brown rice, shredded cheese, and lettuce. A third and favorite combination is this caprese jar salad made with balsamic vinaigrette, bocconcini, tomatoes, roasted red peppers, farro, lettuce, and fresh basil. A fourth and final combo is this apple chick jar salad made with balsamic vinaigrette, red onions and chicken, apples, chopped walnuts, dried cranberries, and lettuce. Tightly sealed in jars, keep your salads in the refrigerator 
where you can grab them for a quick, tasty, healthy, delicious meal. Once you get the hang of proper layering, you can turn almost any salad into a jar salad. Check out these cookbooks with great salad selections available at the Greensboro Public Library. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget, the Greensboro Public Library is open online all day, every day, with downloadable ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, and more.